Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make simple grilled uh, snake head fish using the ninja smart grill. So um, I have finished cleaning, removing the scales uh, of the fish and uh, also the drying, drying it. So let's just um, cut the fish into halves in um, you know, you cut um, the few lines and sort it like this okay. so that um, it will be cooked quicker. Okay. Now, I'm going to uh, spread some um, vegetable oil. You can, also, you can also use canola oil because uh, with the Ninja uh, Smart Grill, uh, those types of oils are recommended because they, they will produce less smoke. Um, I'm not going to add any salt, uh, I'm not going to sprinkle any salt um, onto the fish because later on um, I'm going to prepare some oily scallion and in that salt um, there will be salt. I don't intend to use the thermometer because um, it is a li little bit um, complicated to me. <laughs> Well, in the manual, it says that um, if we use the thermometer, then the internal temperatures um, should be about 150 degrees Fahrenheit, if I remember correctly. Okay, now I'm going to preheat the, the grill. I'm going to use the grill function. Okay, let's put it on medium for... 20 minutes. In the meantime, um, let's prepare some oily scallion. So heat some vegetable oil and one is um, is hot enough. Now put the scallion into it and just a little bit of sugar and a little bit of salt. That is going to be the sauce I used for this type of um, dish. Add in some salt. Oh my god, it is only like 10 minutes in... Wow, wow. I guess that was just medium for you in entire like 10 minutes. And the fish is ready to be served. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to stop and I'm going to uh, turn off the grill and, and whip it in there for uh, probably another 5 minutes. Um, you know, using the remaining heat. Well, I'm honestly surprised by, you know, how well and how fast the fish is grilled using the ninja's smart grill. Well, back in my country, um, for this type of fish, the, the snake head fish, then um, people usually grill it on direct heat, on direct fire and um, they just leave the scale on because um, you know on direct fires then um, the scale will become really crispy and it will come off the, the skin of the fish easily but um, I don't like eating scales of the fish so I'll just remove them before um, actually you know, cooking the fish but anyway just two final touches to 
my dish and it will be ready to be served so just add the oily scallion on top of the fish like this and scatter some crushed peanuts. Voila! It is ready to be served. If you are allergic to peanuts, then of course you can uh, skip that ingredient. But honestly, it would be a huge pity because uh, peanut adds so much taste to the dish. Now for this type of grilled fish in my home country, people will use some rice paper, some um, like rice noodle, and they are going to enjoy it as um, rolls. You know, uh, wrap some vegetables, the noodles, and the fish and onto rice paper, roll it, and then dip it into um, some fish sauces. But because today, um, I just want to show you the simplest way to make this type of dish. Um, so there we have, quick and really simple. I intend to have this together with some steamed rice, hot steamed rice. And you can also make some ginger fish sauce if you like to dip the fish into it. Otherwise, because there is sugars and salt in the olive scallion sauce, so it won't be necessary if you don't like to spend some more time on fish sauce. Okay. So this is also the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching it. Uh, this is the fish eggs. Yeah. I really like fish eggs, so I'm lucky. To, to bought this fish. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like the content, please remember to press support. Support. <laughs> Thank you and see you again in future videos.